Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Tohami from Midway Simplicity and welcome to a new episode of the Midway Decluttering Show where you will find tips on how to declutter your first 100 items. And today I have a very special guest with a very exciting and interesting story. She is B. Johnson from Zero Waste Home and author of Zero Waste Home book. Hello B, thank you very much for being my guest today. Hi there. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, let's start by your story. Uh, what was the transformational point and what was the trigger behind Zero Waste Home? Well, um, for us, it all started, it all came gradually to us. So uh, back in 2006, we were living in a large home uh, about 30 minutes outside of San Francisco. And uh, we were in a, in a cul-de-sac, so we had to drive everywhere. Oh, we had to take our our car to the store to, uh, um, sorry, I have some people here today. I, they, they're doing a documentary um, about me today. Um, so we had a lot of, uh, we just had to take the car everywhere and we got tired of that. So we decided to relocate and uh, uh, to relocate to a different part of the Bay Area to be closer to a walkable downtown. So uh, before we found the ideal home in that walkable downtown, we rented an apartment for a year and we only moved in with the necessities. We put the rest in, uh, in storage. And what we found during that year is that by living with less, we, had, we were able to live more. We had much more time in our hands to do the things that we enjoy doing. Um, so when we did find uh, the perfect house in that uh, little downtown, uh, we, uh, we got everything out of storage and we completely embraced voluntary simplicity. So we uh, looked at everything we had and we evaluated uh, every single piece of furniture or uh, piece of clothing, anything we had, and we let go of about 80% of our belongings. Um, and then from there, just by having more time in our hands, we were able to educate ourselves on environmental issues. Uh, we read books, we watched documentaries, and what we found during that time was that, well, it kind of it made us really sad uh, for, you know, the future of our kids, what was happening. So we decided to do something about it. So uh, my husband quit his job to start a sustainability consulting company and I tackled uh, the home. So uh, I first started shopping with uh, just uh, reusable totes and then we pushed it a little further. I made my own cloth bags to uh, purchase uh, bulk foods. Um, and then um, I started going to the store with my own jars to purchase fish meat, cheese and deli, things that are wet um, from the store. And little by little, we just tackled our waste and today, our waste, uh, our yearly amount of waste, fits in a in a in a core size jar. Wow! A year of waste in a small jar. Yeah. Do you want to see it? No, it's okay. I believe you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow! Wow! It's only because I had it there that I was able to uh, bring it out. But wow! Anyways. In fact, uh, usually in midway simplicity. Um, the concept is to feature mainstream ideas that uh, mainstream people can apply. Uh, and in the, at the beginning of starting my blog, uh, I have noticed your, your website, but I thought, no, no, this is not the midway style. This is too extreme, you know, zero waste. And then, and then uh, I would like to quote uh, a sentence from your website that attracted my attention recently, which is, we not only feel happier, we lead more meaningful lives based on experiences instead of stuff and action instead of inaction. This is what you wrote in your about page. And this is what Midway Simplicity is all about. It's all about experiences instead of stuff. So tell us how this extreme zero waste lifestyle is helping you um, lead more meaningful lives, pursue your passion and have better experiences and how the mainstream can apply your tactics. Well, what's interesting is that we do not consider ourselves or our lifestyle as extreme at all, uh, because today uh, zero waste is uh, completely automatic. It's uh, it's just because we've applied a system and that system works for us and it's made our routine much easier. So we just we don't think about waste anymore because we don't bring it in. What a lot of people don't realize is that zero waste really starts outside the house. It's not the decisions uh, that we make inside the house that matter. It's what the, it's the decisions that we make outside, and that's the same for simplicity. Uh, it's the decisions we make outside the house when we uh, shop or when we say simply no to shopping that we simplify 
or interiors. Um, what we do today is simply uh, apply the five R's in order and what those five R's are, uh, and it's been the key for us to zero waste and living more meaningful lives, is that we refuse all the stuff that we do not need. So we don't bring in uh, things that are unnecessary. Uh, we say no to freebies, um, to things that are given to us at you know, conferences or junk mail. Um, then we reduce by simply uh, letting go of all the things that we do not need. Uh, so that is uh, living, uh, oh, here is my son now. <laughs> There's a lot of people walking around today. It's really weird. Um, so we, uh, we've, uh, by decluttering, we've been able to let other people enjoy these things, the things that we didn't really use on a, on a daily basis. Um, and uh, then the third R is to reuse by buying secondhand and, uh, and swapping all our disposables for reusables. Um, and then uh, recycling what we cannot refuse, reduce or reuse, and finally rotting, that is composting the rest. So um, that has had an impact on our, on our way of life because when we refuse the things that we do not need, we don't have to deal with the clutter later. Uh, when we reduce, we're just simply living with the necessities. We, it makes cleaning easier, it makes uh, life easier uh, in general. We don't have to go to the store to replenish things. Uh, I used to uh, shop as a hobby. I no longer do that. Uh, to me, shopping now is more a, a bit of a chore, something I do because we have to buy food and uh, sometimes we play some uh, article of clothing, but otherwise we, I much rather now uh, go on hikes with my family, um, go to the beach, go even the kids. Um, um, we have um, um, a way that we've actually brought in more experiences into our lives is instead of giving uh, the gift of stuff for Christmas and um, uh, and birthdays, we've given the gift of experiences. So, for example, last year for Christmas, we gave the kids a subscription to a, a family activity. So, each month, we, um, we together do a family activity that we've never done before. So, that has taken us out of our uh, of the regular activities we always do. It's pushed us to spend more time together and do things we've never done before. Uh, so, for example, we've gone strawberry picking, uh, we've gone, uh, we've rented uh, kayaks, uh, we've gone uh, uh, camping in places we had never gone before, um, uh, we've gone uh, to a, a pinball machine museum, that was kind of odd, but it was really awesome. We've done things like that simply because we've eliminated uh, all the activities that take time uh, and are based around consumption and replaced them with things that we enjoy doing together. Awesome. So, uh, so you said that the five laws are uh, refuse, reuse, uh, reduce. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, in order. It's very important. Refuse, uh, reduce. So this is, it's a refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle, rot. Recycle. So what's, uh, what's rot again? Rot is uh, compost. Okay, so you do this by yourself. The composting today, we used to do it ourselves, and now we have our CD picks up uh, green compost. So okay. uh, we have a green bin, and we can put in uh, things that even we never thought were compostable, such as hair, <laughs> nails, uh, things that we sip from the floor, uh, or even uh, the lint from the dryer, uh, okay. things like that go in the compost. Okay. And, and, um which came first? Is it uh, a passion for something, for a certain dream, or you just simplified and when you simplified your life, you started to find more resources like time, energy, and money to pursue uh, better experiences? Which came first? Yeah, there is no question, no question about that, that the, uh, when you simplify your life, because you're not spending so much time consuming, uh, you end up saving a lot of money. So we actually found that with the zero waste lifestyle, we've been able to save 40% on our overall spending. And that's based on the fact that, uh, for one thing, we don't bring in new things into the house. Uh, we only purchase what needs to be replaced. Um, we also, when we do buy something, we buy it secondhand or we buy it in bulk. Uh, what people generally don't realize is that uh, when we buy a packaged product, 15% of the price uh, covers the uh, the cost of the packaging itself. So when you purchase food in bulk, automatically you're making 15% saving. Uh, we've been able to uh, invest uh, that money into uh, even solar, so it's a gift that keeps on giving. 
but one of the greatest advantages of living simply for us has been the fact that all our wardrobes uh, fit in carry-ons. So in our, uh, each of our closets, we have a carry-on. So that has allowed us to rent our house when we go on vacation. So basically, we have renters paying our vacations. So what we do when we want to go somewhere is we pull out our carry-ons. Uh, we threw our whole wardrobes, I mean, each of our wardrobes in our own carry-ons. We zip it. We get out the door. Then we have cleaners that come, clean the house, and then renters come and rent our home. They stay here, and they basically pay for our vacation. So... That way, it's been really an amazing, amazing thing. Last year, we were able to spend the holidays in, uh, in Mexico for 16 days. It paid for the flights and it paid for accommodations, all by simply renting our home. Uh, and that's something that we would not have been able to do before. We're only able to do it because we've simplified our lives and we only have very limited wardrobes. Wow, wow. That's pr pretty impressive. And, and my last question to you, because I know that you have limited time and I can't get enough of you, but uh, I will try to squeeze everything in this last question. Uh, what is the attitude that an average person should adopt in order to uh, embrace your philosophy and uh, the zero waste philosophy? Uh, what should go inside here? What should a normal person believe? Or, or think to, to, to be able to act like what you do? Well, two things. Uh, number one, it's to, if someone wants to do zero is, there is no question about it, it's uh, to apply the five hours in order. Understand what those five hours are. Buy my book if you need to, uh, to understand what, how you can really simplify your life and even get to zero is, if that's, that's what interests you. But the book is actually more based on uh, on living the simple life than it is based on waste. I don't talk much about waste in the book. It's all about living simply. Uh, and also I give a lot of tips on how to declutter the question you should ask yourself when you're decluttering, such as are you keeping things because society is telling you you should have that? Are you keeping it for the what if? Are you keeping it because it's a gift? Do you feel guilty giving it away? They are basically nine questions that we ask ourselves when we declutter our home, and those are the nine questions that I have offered in the book because they made a huge difference for us. Um, the number two thing that I would uh, recommend is really to think about anything that you're taking, anything that you want to bring into your home before you even think about bringing it in. Think, do you really need, to, do you really need that thing? Uh, do, do, you, do you have to have it? Uh, can you do without? And I would say 99% of the time, we can do without. They say that in a household, we only use 20% of our stuff. The rest, the other 80% are things that are just there to clutter. And they're things that we use only seldomly. So why even have them? Uh, we found that we don't need these things, that we can just do with very little things. And it's actually made our life easier because we don't spend so much time cleaning. Uh, it's allowed us, again, like I said, to, uh, to travel more uh, and spend more time as a family. So it's, it's all good. Awesome. Awesome. You are a big source of inspiration, B, and I'm, I'm, I'm so honored to have you on the call today. Thank you very much. And if you would like to leave us with final words of wisdom, the floor is up to you. Refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle, rot. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much for having me. Thank I you really, very much. Uh, really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye.